So here is my meal prep that you guys can see. First thing that I have in the morning is my fresh juice. Normally I always use grapefruit, fresh lemons and ginger. And I do lemonade for my husband uh, because he doesn't like too much green juices. But it's green because I use my superfood powder which is spirulina, wheatgrass uh, and other goodies that I, I'm gonna show you guys later. For breakfast, normally I switch, I have my smoothies, which I love, and overnight oats, and, and a little bit with chia. Uh, so here in the containers, here's my lunch. I have always a different grain, I switch for every week a different grain, some uh, different uh, greens and some like different veggies, and this is farro. And for dinner, I always have uh, other grains too, sometimes it's beans or mixed beans and, and and grains. This time I use um, wild uh, red rice and um, some host, uh, roasted veggies like uh, I love purple potatoes or sweet potatoes. My husband like normal potatoes and we love Brussels sprouts. To heat up I just put in a in the broiler for a couple minutes and it's good to go. So normally I do my groceries now and I can keep for one month and how I do, I, I take it all, all, everything and I put it in my own bags and it's recycled. I always wash and put the things inside again uh, or if I still need the package, I wash everything before putting it in the refrigerator. So here I always have like the dry, like uh, flax seeds, dates, I have hemp seeds, uh, chia seeds, uh, oats some apples uh, here it's a uh, homemade sourdough bread which I already made it for next week for my homemade uh, vegan burgers made with quinoa and black beans recipes you guys can find on my food page and I all have the recipes there here I keep fruits fresh fruits um, and I buy a bunch uh, I, I keep for the first week fresh and then the other ones, I freeze them, which I'm gonna show you for my smoothie bowls. If I'm not having overnight oats, I normally like then for the other weeks, my uh, frozen uh, fruits in, because of I do, I do smoothies bowls. And uh, here are the veggies. I love this bee wrap. It keeps everything very fresh for like days. So I have cucumbers, zucchinis, I have some habanero mayos, I have carrots, over there I have radishes here and you, as you guys can see here and for like some veggies and even for the greens which I can keep fresh for longer I have some collard greens here for my vegan burgers my husband like uh, bread but I made gluten free of course and I, I like to call it greens I have some spinach there some uh, ra uh, some cabbage, some cilantro over there, and I have some kales. And uh, for this week, for this week, I used uh, arugula for my salad because uh, arugula normally tends to go bad first. And I keep paper towel because it uh, it helps to absorb the moisture on the food. As you can see, when you put it in the bags, it's starting getting like this um, humid on the package, so the the paper towel it will help to absorb that absorb that liquid and the food will keep fresh longer so uh, and now I have my nut butters here and in that container it's um, snacks which I'm gonna show you guys later but it's protein bars homemade protein bars with the protein shakes and um, and here in the freezer it's what I do I I normally keep my <clears throat> my fruits and veggies. I kind of mix all kind of together. So um, and I have recipes for all of them. I didn't make all of them yet. I still have some in the table. Uh, I like to keep the bananas very um, uh, almost like in the black spots because then it gets sweeter. But if you guys can see, I always try to mix some uh, fruits and veggies here I can see it's uh, strawberries beets I have bananas dates and some uh, cauliflowers and um, that is bananas orange and some carrots and I already froze some of the greens and I put 
them already and I already portion everything so when, when I want to blend it I just grab one package and it's good to go sometimes I keep here some frozen snacks snacks too I have some acai for my acai bowls and I have some energy bites I have some recipes on my food page as well this one it was homemade cashew butter with um, macadamias coconut <laughs> and uh, this one has oats and they don't if you just let a little bit in outside they get thaw so which is which is perfect but it's it keeps like this for a month so if i need one i can grab and, and go and then it will be probably good and they just need five minutes outside the, the freezer and it'll be soft again uh, so today i'm just gonna do i use probably here has two frozen bananas and probably uh, two cups of strawberries. Normally I use a nut butter or protein powder. I'm probably using a quarter cup of water, kind of help and blend it in. You just kind of added more water if you need it. Whenever I have chia seeds, I like, I like to add chia seeds on my smoothies. thing I never throw in my bags I just wash so I can reuse so I always have plastic bags and this actually is recycled from um, companies sometimes I order food and it comes inside of these bags so I just save those so I don't have to buy and I just kind of recycling for me I'm gonna use one scoop of protein this protein is vegan protein it's the link on my bio Well, now it's time for lunch, and as you guys saw, I have already my meal prep, so it's easy now. I can just grab and eat it. This is what I do. I always keep a salad, homemade salad dressing. I love with the miso, tahini, some fresh lemon juice, and with some cayenne. I love spicy salt, just a little bit, because miso already has salt and water to get a little bit more smooth. And uh, to cook the grains, it's normally very easy the package always has how to cook but normally it's like if you want a one cup dry grains you always double the water and some grains take longer to be cooked like fahu this one it's quick it's quicker if you uh, soak overnight and then you just cook so here as you can see i have some avocados i have cherry tomatoes i have some fennel on bed of arugula, I have some red cabbage, some pumpkin seeds, and some cucumbers. And um, and this is fajo, so I like to sprinkle some black pepper, but then of course I have my salad dressing, which I put on top. And this is my lunch for my day. So around four sometime, it's almost close to five. I like to have a snack before I go for my run. I run every day at least 20 minutes. I work out in the mornings and then I go run for a little bit in the afternoon. So my snack today, it's one of my favorites, is my homemade protein bars. And you can see the recipe on my food page. This one is um, cashew butter and macadamia butter with uh, homemade dark chocolate on top. And um, I also do the peanut butter one and white chocolate, my husband's favorite. But I guess today I'm gonna get my dark chocolate, which uh, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> So 
So time for dinner. I already took a shower. I already did my run for the day. My sauna and um, good. I'm fresh, ready to go for my dinner. Normally I always have grains ready, but I don't think I have enough rice for us. So I'm just, I'm just gonna make the rice now. It's now it's 6 p.m. Normally we have dinner at 7, 7.30. So I'll just make the rice right now and I'll probably just make one cup. I also like to rinse with water, any grains. I'm just gonna rinse this one and I'm making the same rice I have there, the white red rice and has one cup here, which will gonna give me two cups when it's ready. So simple as it is, just double the water for how many cups of dry grains you normally use. Some grains probably require a little bit more water, but in general, you always just have to double. And it's grain is always something easy to do, and then you just have to have veggies or or any fresh greens or some like more fresh and raw veggies as well, like carrots, cucumbers, bell peppers. But you can always roast them. I like to roast uh, veggies for dinner and have more raw for my lunch. Uh, I also like to put one bay leaf to boil now. This is literally the basic thing that you can ever do. As you can see here, I already had my roasted veggies ready because I already do, I did already uh, a couple days ago. So what I do, I mix um, let's suppose I have the potatoes, I mix in a bowl with probably around one pound, I use one tablespoon of avocado oil because avocado oil is better to roast veggies than olive oil. It can, uh, it, it goes for like high temperatures, so it will be better for you. So I use one tablespoon of avocado oil for each pound of veggies that I have. And then, I, you know, for potatoes, normally I use garlic, onion, salt. For those, uh, the normal potatoes, I use paprika, and both I use cayenne. And then for the Brussels sprouts, I use the same, some avocado oil, and then some spices as well. Uh, mushrooms, um, the blend that I have, I put cayenne, I put onions, garlic, uh, salt, and, uh, and I mix everything and I baked already ahead of time. So now I already have my portions. So I'm, I'm just gonna put in the, broil in the broiler for maybe around 15 minutes. Um, now it depends if you don't want to uh, too much uh, get like crispy. I like the, my broth is probably very crispy because I like the crunchy and that potatoes is good too, very like more like crunchy. Purple potatoes I like to put cover a little bit uh, with um, foil, aluminum foil, so it keeps a little bit more soft and not too much as a fry um, texture. And there I have my rice already uh, boiling. And I, I just see I just leave the cover, the lid a little bit open so the air just goes a little bit out. Now the food is ready. As you can see, uh, this is my plate and I always have half cup for lunch, for dinner, it depends, can be grains or beans or both half, half grains and half beans, but as always, half cup and I have some veggies. And for my husband, I always double the rice and I, it has even a little bit more potatoes. The process is kind of the same and I love adding my vegan habanero mayo. So we have a nice meal for dinner. So that was my daily meal prep for the day. I hope you guys enjoy. This is one of the days that I use for my whole week. And this is the first week of the month. Other weeks I make different things, but this is normally what I have for the whole week. Hope you enjoy. Now I'm gonna call my husband for dinner. Babe, dinner's ready. <laughs> Stand here until it gets weird. <laughs>